Dear friends, I am Dr. Neha Gupta, Infectious Diseases Specialist and Specialist in HIV Medicine in Medanta the Medicity Gurgaon. HIV AIDS affects millions of people all around the world and has been around for decades. Still, myths continue to persist. In the 80s and 90s, HIV and AIDS was considered to be life-threatening, but now things have changed. With the advances in the medical sciences, now we have new, safer and efficacious antiretroviral drugs which are available, which have transformed HIV from a death sentence to a more manageable illness like diabetes and blood pressure. We also know that it doesn't happen or it doesn't spread by shaking hands or by sharing toilets, food or drinks. So, socially accepting the people living with HIV is important and we must provide them care and support. Earlier, it was thought that the medications for HIV may be harmful, but now we have good, effective and safe medications available for HIV. And by taking these medications, people can lead a normal life. Whoever is HIV positive, all of them must take the antiretroviral drugs and that should be irrespective of their CD4 count. However, we all know that still there is no cure for this particular disease and the therapy has to be taken lifelong. So uh, previously, when we didn't have safe drugs available, patients who started on antiretroviral therapy when the CD4 count would go down below 200. <coughs> but now, since we have better medications and effective medications available, now the concept has changed. And in fact, in 2016, that has been the game changer Anybody who is HIV positive should start on the medications. The concept is that as we start early, we can prevent infections including opportunistic infections and also many diseases like um, heart attacks which can be as a result of inflammation in HIV positive patients and even malignancies, tumors, they can be prevented by starting the therapy early. So now today it's Anybody who is positive, it's very important to take the medications as early as possible and as they are safe, um, most of them are well tolerated, the side effects are also very less. Once you are once you're detected diabetic, you have to take the medications and with proper medication, diabetes is under control. People living with diabetes also li uh, live a normal life. Same as that with HIV now. It's like a chronic manageable illness. With proper medication, it can be under control. Now, no one should get this virus. It's important to curtail the spread of the virus. And for this, we must follow safe sex practices, avoid use of contaminated syringes. And at the same time, before marriage, besides the horoscope, it's very important to know the HIV status of the partner. H1N1 chune se fail sakta, like if you're touching doors and pe viruses are probably H1N1 or influenza or any other normal cold virus can spread through sneezing or even by touching of the doors. But this HIV virus, that doesn't spread like this. It doesn't spread by uh, touching doors or uh, um, any object which is just left in the open. Many people understand that from the taste or oral secretion can be HIV from the but that's not the case. HIV virus it gets killed when exposed to air. So it doesn't spread by the secretion, sneeze of a person, of a uh, sneezing or um, uh, coughing from an HIV infected patient. Transmission doesn't happen. There are just three methods. We all know that it's only three methods, you know, like uh, if you, it's um, unsafe sex practices, use of contaminated syringes, which is like, and then obviously from mother to baby. So if these three are uh, modes of transmission are taken care of, then nobody is going to get HIV infection as such. If the mother is HIV positive and that's detected, if suppose she is pregnant and is detected HIV positive, it's by taking the medications, we can prevent the spread of infection from the mother to the baby and the baby can be HIV negative. So taking medications appropriately during pregnancy is very important. So uh, what I know and I've seen them, it's like they are, when they get to know at the age of say, you know, 10 or 12, 
because that's when see when suppose there's a baby who's like three four years old he won't understand that he is positive it doesn't he won't mm-hmm. understand the gravity of hiv infection but at 12 years you know and you are really looking forward to life and that's when you get to know that you are a child positive so it affects them but again it's the whole you know besides the medications it's the support from the family which is important so parents have to take care of themselves take proper medications and then give some more support emotional as well as financial support to the children at this stage and with that um i think a lot of people were coming to us obviously uh, children are fine they are starting to accept that they are positive and also accept that by taking medications they can actually lead a normal life what it affects is obviously like the chances of getting a partner in the future like you know that a partner is very we all need company in our lives but that's something which is uh, i mean that that is something called destiny whether they find somebody or not because that's very important but it's destiny maybe with uh, people with more and more acceptance this can also happen in the future it's for us as a society to accept people that's very and you know as you said like you know not discriminate them but accept them that most importantly it doesn't spread by you know touching shaking you can by sharing food drinks it doesn't happen yes, so they can be friends they can be colleagues hug each other that's absolutely fine um, ideally the blood should be checked with nat pcr nat pcr is more sensitive and also it can detect an hiv infection at a very uh, between 2 to 7 days Okay. like with the elisa test or with the p24 antigen fourth generation elisa it has still a window period of 15 days but with this particular nat pcr um, de- the detection or the window period is reduced to between just 2 to 5 days so that's why all these blood products before transmission before transfusing should be checked with nat pcr so on this world aids day let's spread awareness and help people lead a normal life with hiv it's important to prevent new infections and that should be our aim thank you